Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also, and also with you. you. We gather in the presence of God, both this assembly and those who join us online, to remember the service and dedication of those who commit their lives to the defence of this realm. We come to pray for them in time of danger, to give thanks for them in times of civic service outside of combat, and for those who have given service whose lives bear the scars of trauma and disability from their selfless service in our name and on our behalf. Let us pray. O Lord God of hosts, stretch forth, we pray, your almighty arm and strengthen and protect our service men and women. Support them in times of conflict and in their rest and training keep them safe from all evil. Endue them with courage and loyalty, and grant that in all things they may serve that approach through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Danger. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? Service. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Trauma. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to enjoy it. Thanks be to God. Let us now hold before God the life and the work of the armed forces. Holy God and protector of all who trust in you, grant to the armed forces of the Crown and all who seek you the assurance of your presence the knowledge of your love, and the guidance of your spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations. Let your mercy rule in all that we do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Be with all who defend your truth and your peace that they may vanquish injustice and wrong. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Give wisdom to leaders and commanders, that they may be a force for good on earth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In your wisdom, embrace our enemies and those who wish us harm. Turn the hearts of all to kindness and friendship. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Be with all medics and chaplains and all who support the suffering. Give them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Sustain the anxious and fearful and renew them with courage from on high. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Comfort all worried families whose loved ones are in danger. Surround them with your love. Protect them from harm. Lord, hear us. Be with the sick and wounded. Stand by all prisoners and captives. Let your mercy be shown to all and your power to heal and save. Lord, hear us. The Lord, graciously hear us. Receive those fallen in battle and all innocents who have died. Surround their loved ones with compassion and give them a patient faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Confirm what is founded on truth and establish your love in our hearts that justice may abound on all the earth and all peoples rejoice in your peace lord hear us lord, graciously hear us and as jesus taught his disciples so we are bold to 
say. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. to the living grace, the departed rest, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all humanity peace and concord, and to us and all his servants life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.